Hello, welcome. In this video, we are going to talk about Oracle integration default functions. So as we know that in Oracle integration, Oracle provided some by default functions, or we can say that predefined functions, which we can use while mapping, or we can use while processing the data, even we can use the functions in variables also. So I will show you the same in this video. So in previous video, I have explained you about the operators, what operators, operators available in that Oracle integration. Now we will discuss about functions. So before going to start, I request you to, if you have not subscribed this channel, please subscribe this channel and don't forget to like this video. So now here you can see we can access or we can use functions in two ways. The first way can be that the while mapping, we can directly use that function to provide additional input or additional mapping to the response or we can say the target node. So for example, here we have response repair as time and here we have to map something and which can be used by the function. So from where we can access by clicking here, you can see we have functions. We have operators, which we have already discussed earlier and now it's functions. So you can see we have different, different types of functions. Functions come under different, different categories that you can see the in, in advanced functions. We have some functions which is majorly related to the integration nodes and all. Here you can see the first one is that create a node set from delimited a string, decode, encode base 64 and all. So that all are comes under the advanced functions, which can be used while processing the data. After that, we have Boolean function that the simple for processing the records and adding the logic and all for true and false. And now we have conversion function, which is going to be useful while converting the data into one different one types to different types. Just like whenever we require date to be a store in any other variables, at that time, you can see that suppose we pick that current date time and we know that the date time is in date format and we have to convert that into a string so we can use direct string from here. Same as we have suppose hard coded a string values and that a string values contain date and we have to convert that value into actual date format or we can say that we need to pass that value into date. That's why we have date, date, date conversion functions. And the same date time for converting the date into time, minute, hour, second, two hour, minute, second, something like that. For that we have integer, number, a string, time, year, month and all. There are various functions. We will discuss one by one in our integration only. And after that we have data type, data functions. In data functions we have current date that will return the current date. What is the date in minute, in, in uh, year, month and uh, year, day. And here we have current date time which will return date with uh, the minutes. And in second we have time zone function. We have different functions to get. You can see we have functions day from date. It will return back the day only like six. Today we have 12, 7, 2023. So once we will use this function, it will return back 12. So that kind of functions we have, right? We will use all this function in our uh, upcoming integration. In integration, whenever we will use require any types of functions, we will use from there also. If you remember, we are mostly using concrete functions for concreting the message. So here you can see we have concrete functions, concrete functions, we have compare functions, we have upper functions, substring function for getting some values and all are working on the, the the string values we have substring after substring before I will explain all these things in in deep in next videos and after that here you can see once that string functions completed we have the the integration cloud functions that get flow ID it will return back you the instance of that integration run instance of that integration lookup value function is used for getting the lookup values mathematical functions which we have for abs for making the value working on the numeric values we have seal floor round a square root sum and also that all functions are working on that the the node set the complete node and after we have another functions which comes under node set which will the count function will return back the total number of record in the, the node set the current exist local name there are many very functions available here in oracle integration right predefined functions we will discuss about that even we can create some additional functions we will discuss about that also we have xlt functions in next videos i will explain you all the xlt functions thank you so much for watching if you have any other queries you can make a comment on that thank you so much again